We've kind of reached a milestone in the boat again. I uh, removed the frames holding the stems on both ends and I've sanded and sanded and sanded and then sanded some more uh, up to about 180 grit and I'm getting ready to uh, put the first coat of epoxy on it. So, Kathy, hello. Hey. Hi. And Jenna, Hi. these guys are ready for bed and I called them out here so they could shoot a video. Let's shoot a video. Boat video. So, I got all the filleting work done along, along the bottom keel and uh, it's sanded. I got the uh, profiles kind of where they're looking about half right on each end. I filled all the nail holes over and over and over and over again. They keep popping up kind of like mushrooms that you don't see. But I think I've got them all, but I'm sure as I start putting uh, coats of epoxy and later paint, I'll find some. But anyway, tomorrow we'll uh, have another video and show you what it looks like when it's all a nice dark brown color. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so today, we got the boat coated last night. Uh, it's not quite dry enough to sand yet, so I started shaping up my rudder board a little bit. Um, I belt sanded all the edges and got them fairly smooth. Um, now I'm doing a little epoxy work um, on the rudder. I'm carefully marked the center line of this is the pivot hole where the rudder will pivot inside the dagger box and I drilled it out with about an inch and a quarter Forstner bit. Uh, I was careful to like drill through with a real small bit. I drilled most of the way through from this side and then I went and finished it up so I wouldn't have a big blowout on the outside. Then I put tape on one side, filled it up with epoxy slowly and taped the other side. Normally probably would just let that set and cure level nice but I wanted to go ahead and fill this void as well while this keeping the epoxy in uh, my hole. So what I did is I set up my table saw a little bit from this edge, a little bit from this edge and ripped it down half three quarters of an inch something like that and uh, I've taped off the ends and I'm filling that up with epoxy uh, mixed with a little bit of of adhesive filler and so what that's going to do is this is a leading edge and when I round these over with the big round over bit later that'll leave this epoxy this hardened surface in case you know you hit a rock or a barnacle or up on the beach or whatever you're not grinding away on the wood you're going to contact the uh, epoxy first so that's what we're doing today okay well just finished giving the boat, a second coat of epoxy. I spent a few hours this morning, most of the morning, sanding down the first coat of epoxy and then wiping it down, getting all the dust off. And then I blew all the dirt I could out of the garage from the ceiling and behind everything and tried to get it as dust free as I could. And put the second coat on. Now that Saturday, I'm planning on having some people over. We're going to turn the boat over and set it on these rollers down here. Um, so I can move it around the shop and I'll start working on the inside. And then I'll get the inside fitted out and at a later date we'll flip, flip the boat back over, paint the outside, flip it over again and paint the rails. But anyway, that's a long way off. So I got the second coat Epoxy done. The hole's looking pretty good. Looks like it's going to be a pretty large boat, actually. Can't wait to get it turned over. Uh, yesterday, I finished working on the foils. I did cut a slot out of this edge. I left maybe a sixteenth of an inch on each side of wood, and then I cut maybe a half inch, five eighths inch deep groove on the table saw and I filled that with the epoxy and then rounded it over. That way if we impact anything in the water it'll hit the epoxy and not the wood. I uh, shaped the backside down and 
finished up the top of the rudder box and come out looking pretty decent. That's control line hole. Then here's the rudder. I got done basically the same treatment to it. Um, there you can see how deep I cut the slot. And there it comes all the way down. And there's the other end of it. So then I just put a piece of tape on this end and a piece of tape on that end, leveled it up in a vise and poured this full of epoxy. And then yesterday I rounded this edge over and I gave uh, the rest of the top here a smaller round over. Here's the uh, downhaul line, hole for it, and uh, the rope will actually pass through here and you'll pull it up, tie a knot, and pull it back and that way there won't be a knot sticking out so it can slide without interference inside the, the uh, top of the rudder hole for the pivot. They didn't really call for this to be an epoxy and perhaps it wouldn't need to be an epoxy but I just thought since it's going to be working up and down um, it might be better to have the bolt that goes through there wearing on epoxy instead of wood. So that's where we're at. Um, Saturday I'll we'll have a video of flipping the boat over and getting that whole stand thing out of the way and making a little more room here in the shop. And then I'm gonna get busy working on the interior and some of the spars. So, see you next time.